Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to update your Minecraft server on server.pro. As we currently offer two different server plans, we will be covering both. Firstly, we'll go over how to update your Minecraft on the classic server plans and then the VPS plans. We've provided timestamps in the description so that you can skip to the correct section for you. To update your Minecraft on the classic plans, simply locate your server from your list and go into its control panel. From here, what you want to do is create a backup. So, go to the backups tab on the left and then press create manual backup. If you run into issues during this process, this ensures that you're able to restore any progress from the backup we just created. If you're on the free version, you'll need to do this a little bit differently as you don't have access to the backups tab. So, go to the files tab, then select the files you want to backup. I'll only select my world and the server.properties file. If you have any of the files you want to keep, select them as well. Then press the download button. This will download all the selected files to your device, so that if anything happens you can reset the server and re-upload them back. Now that you've backed up your classic plan Minecraft server, we will update the version. Go to the reinstall tab on the left. From there, under the type drop down, ensure it's the correct one you want. For example, if you want plugins, ensure that it's either Spigot or Paper. Then from the versions drop down, select the most up to date version, in this case it's 1.19. Keep in mind that downgrading can lead to errors and world corruptions, so please make sure you only upgrade and not downgrade unless you know what you're doing. Then under the remove files drop down, make sure it says no, we want to keep our files. Lastly, hit the reinstall button. When you've done that, your server should be starting with the new version right now. To check if your server has finished booting up, go to the console tab. At the bottom, it should say done. Now let's move on to updating a VPS plan server. To update your Minecraft on the VPS plans, locate your server from the list and go into its control panel. From here, we'll create a backup. Go to the backups tab on the left and then press create manual backup. If you run into issues during this process, this ensures that you're able to restore any progress from the backup we just created. Now let's update our Minecraft service. To update your Minecraft server, switch to it in the service switcher. Here on your service dashboard, under the type drop down, ensure it's the correct one you want. For example, if you want plugins, ensure that it's either Spigot or Paper. Then from the versions drop down, select the most up to date version, in this case it's 1.19. Keep in mind that downgrading can lead to errors and world corruptions, so please make sure you only upgrade and not downgrade unless you know what you're doing. Then near the bottom of the page, press the save and restart button. This will restart your server with the new server. Settings. To check if your server has finished booting up, go to the shell tab. At the bottom it should say done. As you can see, our server has fully booted up. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more from our channel. If you have any further questions or problems, don't hesitate to contact us too. We'll leave a link in the description on how to do so.